Hello everyone. To those that have missed class this week, this is our warm up for our week. So on the next available page in your sketchbook, you are going to write the words hatching, cross hatching, scrumbling, and rendering. Underneath those words, you are going to make a rectangle and section it off into four parts. You are then going to draw a circle and a cube to the best of your ability beside each one. While we are learning and watching the videos in the Drawing 101 video quest, you are learning how to do certain drawing techniques. We have learned that hatching is where all your lines are together and very closely knit together, and they're all in one direction. And when you put those marks in the stacked value scale, if you saw the video by Mary Doodles, she has a scale of one to four or four, one to six, one being the lightest. So you were gonna apply light pressure and fill that square, making sure that your marks all together for being your darkest, and so you are gonna be applying more pressure and making those marks really dark. So as you move from left to right, it's going light to dark. Here is an example with cross hatching. Notice it's a seven step value scale, so one being blank or white, and as it moves across the, and gets higher in number, it gets darker. So you're gonna be doing that with each drawing technique. Remember, scrumbling is where you are gonna be essentially making scribble marks, but as you move down or up, the step to value scale, you're going to go lighter to darker. Once you fill in all of those different types of drawing techniques, you're then going to apply those drawing techniques to filling in these two geometric shapes and making them look three dimensional using shading. Remember, you need to have a light source in there. A light source is going to dictate where the highlight or the white lightest part of the uh, object is going to be and where the cast shadow is going to fall. Remember, the cast shadow is going to dictate where space or where the object is resting or sitting. So a quick thing for rendering. Rendering is similar to hatching, cross hatching, and scrumbling, except there are two things. You are going to be using that kneadable eraser and also you're going to be holding your pencil differently. When we normally draw or write, we're going to be holding our pencils generally like this or like this. When you render, you're going to flip your hand over, have it be on top, and have the pencil lie on the kind of meat of your fingers. As we are rendering, you are going to be also be using the broadest side or widest side of your pencil. When rendering, you're going to notice that your graphite is going to be appearing on your paper very differently. It's going to be lighter. It's going to be fluffier or softer. So as I'm pressing, my graphite is going to get darker because we know that pressure equals darkness level change. And so I'm going to try really hard to try and make this look three-dimensional. Press, 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 trying to get my highlight, trying to get my midtone, trying to get my overtone, which is my darkest. So press, 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 okay. And then putting down my cast shadow. Remember the cast shadow should be the darkest value. If your cast shadow is looking about the same level of darkness as your darkest tone, maybe go back and darken up your cast shadow a little bit. All right, so this is really messy. This is where your kneadable eraser is gonna come in. So I'm going to knead this guy into a point and then carefully erase the areas that I don't want to have marks. So I know that my highlight is supposed to be the lightest, but I got some dark shadow here. Your kneadable eraser gently lifts out graphite, as you can see, except I took away too much. So I'm going to carefully go back in with my pencil and fix it. Unlike a normal eraser, an eraser will take away too much or all of the graphite. Let's say you just want a little bit. So that's what we're going to be using the kneadable eraser for, to very carefully and lightly lift out particles or layers of graphite. So please continue working on filling in each circle and cube with this dissociated drawing technique. Stay tuned for part two and you will learn what the mini project is.